One of the things I'm most excited about about the stream program so far that I've seen is, is the level of engagement. And, and I'm talking about the level of engagement for both students, but, but also for, for staff as well. Um, the staff have taken a great deal of ownership of the teaching because they've created the design challenges. There. And um, they've also created the design challenges based upon what the students' input was. They did interviews with the students prior to starting the program, and they used student interests to identify general areas that they could work towards uh, creating designs or creative solutions. And so the, the teachers then went and planned challenges that they thought would be meaningful and engaging for kids, while at the same time supporting the learning objectives that we had mapped out. And so that was exciting to see that aspect. And then from there, watching the kids in the classroom um, take a great deal of ownership of the problem that this presented in front of them and the, the process that they're using to create solutions and then the ownership and excitement they have about their solution um, and trying to bring their ideas to reality and, and, and something that they can implement. The stream came about from work that I had been doing with the Moss School. Uh, at Moss, uh, the kindergarten teachers decided to take a leap and said, okay, let's, let's teach in our classrooms problem solving, a course set of problem solving skills, and, which are tied to critical thinking skills. And then we'll ask the kids to apply to academic stuff that, that are in the Common Core, that's part of our coursework. Uh, but we'll also challenge them to transfer that skill set towards when they're fighting over a chair in the classroom. And uh, it was really the, the successes that the Moss teachers had in writing that curriculum, implementing it, and us watching the kids really internalize multi-step problem solving process and independently on their own solving complex problems that they came across, whether it was on the playground or in the hallway or, you know, through math. And so we said, well, uh, we'll try a different route with it. Rather than going with focusing on basic uh, knowledge and content, uh, let's see if we can develop kids' uh, critical thinking and problem solving skills with summer school, and that will then lead them towards a, a new kind of success in the classroom in the following year. So at that point in time, we said, well, let's take the successes that we're having with the Common Core problem solving process at Moss, and let's see if we can expand it uh, through elementary and middle school in a six-week summer program. And uh, it was really more discussion with the administrative team about, you know, what would we call it, what would be the focus. Uh, STEM was also an interest on the community's part, as well as administrative team. And it was really through brainstorming and our language arts supervisor said that, uh, you know, you've got to throw in the R for readings. And the middle school had already talked about doing STEAM and incorporating the arts, so we put it together and made STREAM. And at that point in time, while I felt confident that I could work with the, you know, the Moss and the Campbell teachers on Common Core problem solving, kindergarten through fourth grade, uh, I felt like we, I could use some support myself in leading the middle school and high school teachers in developing a program centered around problem solving and design thinking at the middle school level. And I, through networking and contact, um, been familiar with the big picture learning work and it was, it was very in line with the work that they had already been doing for many years and so we decided to have them come in and, and help us develop the middle school aspect of it. So part of my work is to kind of engage schools in changing and innovating. So when a school says, hey, we're looking to make this change, we're hoping to do something different to benefit our students, my role is not to kind of come in and say, well, this is what you need to do, as much as it is to partner and ask great questions to understand how can we help you from where you are grow to the next level. I learned about the project. I knew that Mr. Cohen was excited about making some changes and about helping students become more engaged. Um, and so we started our conversation with that and really looked at the thread that students need an opportunity to kind of pursue something that was deep and meaningful. And so that kind of was the thing that we ended up working on and using a combination of design thinking as a process for, for education and something he was using already in Metuchen, which was the, the problem solving loop. Mm -hmm. So we kind of combined those two ideas and developed the stream program. So design thinking is actually another problem solving tool that kind of started in the business world. So business folks were realizing, you know what, we have our, our business is to help our consumers. Our consumers are human beings. So instead of just improving things, we need to kind of understand who they are, those users, and be able to really create things to benefit them. So that idea was kind of 
evolved into education because we recognize that ultimately the role that our kids are going to have to play as they mature and become adults is developing, problem solving, creating. And, and so that was the idea, that in education we need to give them the tools and the experience of doing that. So design thinking has kind of transformed in education in that kids have these challenges that they have a chance to solve create solutions, develop real things, and have the real world tested. And so that's kind of what we're doing here at Metuchen. Some of the most effective design process comes from giving a structure to people, or give a process for them to use, but then allow them to fill in the, 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 the details and the fun and the creativity themselves. So we decided on the six skills that we thought we should teach across the year, but then the teachers came up with the how, the teachers came up with the names, uh, the teachers came up with the scope and sequence, and they really had a lot of fun with it, and they were very creative, and they really owned it. What it inherently comes out when you're given an opportunity to learn this way, um, because I think human beings come into education naturally curious. If you think about a fifth, a, yeah, a five-year-old in a kindergarten class, they're excited to go to school, they want to learn. And I think this type of a program recaptures that natural learning and it's more authentic. That's the type of learning we take into adulthood. It's not so much that you memorize a vocabulary list or you can solve an equation, but that you look into the world, you see a problem, and you think of a creative way to solve it. Or you look at the world, you see a mystery, you're curious about it, and so you research it on your own. And if we can get kids hooked and let them know that they're, they are empowered to do that, I think we create curious adults and questioning adults. And I think ultimately those teenagers and children turn into the kinds of citizens I would want to be in my society. I've seen attitudes change uh, in the, since the beginning of STREAM. Um, many children were coming in saying, I can't. But now children are saying, I'm going to try. I can. They're saying we're going to brainstorm. They're saying there's team in stream. I is not alone in stream. It doesn't exist. Um, and the kids are trying very hard to persevere, be persistent, and try it again. So I love the program because it allows kids to really be children and get their hands in it, you know, and do it instead of just always sitting there at a desk listening to a teacher. I think one of the biggest and greatest changes in the children from the STREAM program is their willingness to keep trying, to not give up, to persevere, to think about challenges in different ways. Um, they're really excited and it's, it's almost amazing. Me, it amazes me at times how they don't want to give up. They want to keep trying it and they're really up for the challenge and they talk about trying it at home and different things like that. So I think that willingness to persevere is, is one of the greatest changes I've seen. Uh, and now we've seen some of those students in the entering first and entering second grade classrooms uh, just dive right in, uh, be really excited about the, the, the design challenge or the project that they're working on and be really proud to show uh, guests as they come in or others that ask about their work uh, to tell in great detail what they're working on, what they've done, and how proud they are of, of their work. So that's been a real uh, pleasant surprise. Um, and um, you know, that's the type of engagement that really leads to uh, long-term learning.